Hi okay, guys, Lutin here, back with some more Battlefield Hardline. Now today, I really want to talk about the vehicles, because the vehicles are actually one of the things that has changed the most about the game. Now, a lot of people have kind of been making the comment uh, that, you know, not so much has changed, and that in, in many ways it's kind of just like a reskin, and it could have been a DLC, all this kind of stuff, you know, you see it go around. And, you know, there's an element of truth to all of those things. However, the vehicles are one thing that I feel really have changed significantly, and mostly for the positive, one for the negative. And we've got basically here you can see the different types of vehicles. You've got the ARV, that's the armoured vehicle. You've got the SUVs, those are kind of more light armour. Then you've got the squad cars, then you've got the interceptor muscle cars, more powerful. And then you've got the bikes as well. Now I'm taking the armoured vehicle right here. And, and you know this gameplay today really highlights a couple of things that I've been talking about. One is the way in which teams play and prioritise. And this is not an issue just with this game. It's an issue with you know Battlefield 4 and so on. It's been an increasing problem of you know people prioritising targets. It's something I always go on about you know to my guys about is to you know prioritize those armored targets and take them out and in this round you'll see with this armored truck I just go on the rampage it's a you know this is a 27 and 1 round by the end of it for me we absolutely dominate with this vehicle and the trouble is as well is that the ARVs are kind of they're not like totally impregnable you know if you get on them with the c4 and that's quite easy to do in these kind of infantry centric maps um or if you get a couple of guys and you rpg them down they'll go down you know pretty decently the trouble is just that people don't do that and it just you know and if that doesn't happen you can just see the kind of absolutely brutal rampage you can go on with these vehicles right now i've just been driving around and i've not seen a soul yet but you know it changes up anyway though let's talk about the vehicles. you see the helicopters come in here you've obviously of course you have got the air vehicles you've got the transport and the sort of scout slash attack heli there as well um, and you know I think they've actually made a good balance for this game it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out without those you know more heavily armored vehicles however it does beg the question kind of the necessity of the role of the engineer now it's definitely true that the classes for Battlefield Hardline have been kind of directly sort of you know transitioned on from previous battlefields this is true but the engineer class seems to, I don't know, it's titled as the mechanic in the game, but I had seen some comments this week about people saying, you know, does this make sense? Does it make sense to really have that class within this situation? And in some ways it does. A lot of people commented as well saying about RPGs. Does it make sense for them to have RPGs and so on and so on? There are various choices they can have there. But to be honest, I, I kind of feel like this is all semantics and it's not really the biggest deal. Um, again, you can see the, the power of the, you know, the HMG coming in on here and some nice road kills as well. But the thing is as well, uh, I'd seen some comments again about the uh, you know just the the standard weapons against vehicle weapons versus vehicle infantry weapons and the machine guns AKMs things like that how useful they were actually against vehicles the fact that you could take down a car with a full AKM and this was a point some people really disliked this fact they were saying that this was just ridiculous you know how could you possibly do this but what people have got to remember is that what you don't want to happen is you don't want to have it where only the mechanic class, only the engineer class can actually take down other vehicles. They wanted to make it so that if you are, say, you know, the assault, that kind of class, that you can do some damage to those vehicles as well. So that it's not so, you know, once you get the vehicles, it's totally one sided. However, I'm proving the point in this vehicle right now that unless the team get to grips and deal with the vehicle, that it will dominate you, it will cause you massive problems. And that's because you don't have so many other vehicles going around. Often in previous Battlefield games, even if you don't have the uh, infantry going for it, there's other vehicles rushing around the map and chances are they're going to kind of bump into one another. You're going to have that kind of vehicle combat happening. So it would tend to be infantry and vehicle and then a bit of infantry versus vehicle. But in this game, in Battlefield Hardline, there is obviously a higher percentage of infantry versus the smaller amount of vehicles. And so what they've tried to do is make it so that your infantry weapons can actually do a lot more damage so if you are cut off and you see another vehicle or maybe there's two three guys defending the base but none of them mechanic because they've you know they can actually put up a little bit of a fight however it has to be said that versus the armored truck right here you know there's not much is going to take that down other than really your your anti-armor kit um, and that's why it's so important to prioritize these vehicles mark them on the map work as a team actually take them down but again this is what comes back to my concern in many ways you know it's it's not that they can't be taken out, it's just that a lot of the time teams don't get to grips with taking them out. Um, it makes me feel very much again about kind of, you know, air vehicles in previous battlefields. Sometimes you would get 
you know players who were very strong with the air vehicles and teams would just not get together to, to take those down and before they knew it they're, they're dominated and before they know it they're actually sort of pinned back because that's had such an impact on the game and that's kind of what happened with me in this vehicle in this game was that they, they after a little while that you did notice they started to try and make more of an effort to actually sort of take me out but overall they really didn't and look at this thing I'm absolutely wrecking it and um, I do actually kind of question uh, again some of these you know whether perhaps that main cannon here should have a slightly slower fire rate or something like that because right now um, it, it does seem quite powerful and also there is the the classic tactic that I've seen employed many times recently where you know people in the most powerful vehicle they take one little hit and then they just hit the reverse they just back out of there as fast as possible they also get the first few hits in and then finish it off with the HMG no problem at all that thing will go down one thing that I do also want to cover though is the handling. Now the handling in Battlefield Hardline of the vehicles was redone by Visceral and I gotta tell you they did an amazing job with it. The handling in the game is one of the first things that I noticed was different with the vehicles. It's so good. The cars particularly feel astonishingly good. You know they really pull away. You can feel the speed in them when you pull away with them. You can push it really hard in them. You know they handle excellently. They don't slip and slide like they did in previous battlefields. And I have to say that's one thing that has really really been a big positive and a big change to the way this game goes. This is going to be fantastic not just for this game but for previous uh, for future rather battlefields going forward. And I really really hope that that does get taken forward. I mean with Battlefield even 3 and 4 I used to get so irritated like when you're driving a tank up some steps and it just slips like weirdly to the side and it, you know the buggies and stuff which would flip weird it, it just was so irritating you know and it made it so difficult to kind of control vehicles a lot of the time and you'd think that you were in a, especially when you're in a combat situation yet again right here look at this just charging in putting the pain down on these guys with this thing um, so that's one big difference to this game. And again, um, you know, this is the first map that a lot of people have seen. But in other maps as well, vehicles will have more and less of a role to play, I'm absolutely sure. Um, and so, you know, this is going to be very, very important. Even right now, though, you can have a couple of cars, you go chasing it around. And again, other game modes as well. Other game modes that are going to be coming in that we're probably going to see pretty soon. Um, those other game modes are going to also, you know, have more of a role to play with some of those vehicles. Um, so that's something to really consider is that right now we've seen a very limited availability of this game. And I think that actually when we start to see a little bit more of the game, then perhaps that's going to come forward. So I'm trying to be a bit more optimistic today because in my first few videos I've been a little bit more negative, talking specifically about how people have not been really pushing, playing the objectives properly, and the consequential impact that this could have on the game as a whole. I still think that that's entirely true and it potentially could have a negative impact. However, at the same time, there are mechanical elements within the game here which I think are important to note are actually good. Because what I'm trying to say is that like on this live stream today that I did, um, there was a lot of we had a lot of rounds which didn't play out very well but there were some rounds that played out very very well and it was probably like a third I had a third of the rounds that we played worked really good some excellent games and some of them were lost but I still felt like they were good games you know because we really struggled we fought for the objectives it was a good push and pull between the you know the two teams and overall it felt very very enjoyable um, but there were some other rounds which were not good they were just total steamrolls we got wiped out or we wiped them out and they were over in like five minutes that's not so good that's not so enjoyable it's not so fun um, but what I'm hoping what I'm trying to say is that there are actually mechanical elements that have been considered here which do work really well um, and like with any game and any sort of development of a game at least make the effort to try at least make the, the effort to try and be different and yeah people have said oh well it's no different than Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3 or whatever you know they've kept this they've kept that well you know they have to keep that guys because otherwise it wouldn't be a battlefield game it's a it's a, you know it's a battlefield franchise so they have to keep some elements in place things like the classes okay and some people are saying well they've, they've taken those classes and transitioned them straight across into battlefield hardline well of course because it's a battlefield game it's the same classes we've seen in the previous title they're not going to change it up because that's the format okay so it makes total sense for them to keep that in what it doesn't make sense to do is to sort of you know change things and make them worse than they were already and I don't feel like that's what they have done um, things have changed in a kind of way that hasn't been done before because this is more kind of civilian urban based rather than military military based so therefore we don't have those heavy vehicles those heavy attack vehicles uh, both in the air on and on the ground but therefore it does encourage a slightly different gameplay and i think you would agree that from playing this and from playing heist there is that difference of gameplay there's a different fluidity there's a different 
interaction between players, the way you kind of move between bases and you jump out and it's all, you know, so it's more kind of more kind of FPS based, if you like to say it that way. It's more kind of infantry and, and there is that kind of interaction and situations that happen a little bit more. Man, oh, I'm lucky to get that guy. What was he doing? Just standing right there? I don't know. But let me know your thoughts below. I want to hear what you guys think about the vehicles and the kind of impact they can have on the game. As I say, I think right now we've seen kind of like a snapshot, really. We've seen the very beginning of this game, and we need to see a little bit more. We need to see how people play out as it goes forward. Um, despite the things that I have said in previous videos, um, I, I, I think you really need to wait and see to release. Because I, having had some time to think about some of the stuff that I've considered um, I don't think that I'm necessarily going to be wrong but I want to give people the benefit of the doubt I want to see how this plays out I want to see how the community plays it out and you know we'll just see how things go forward from there it could be that depending on certain game modes some play more tactically than others and people play them in a different way this kind of does happen with Battlefield 4 right now certain games will play out a little bit differently um, you know interestingly domination in Battlefield 4 despite the fact that it's quite kind of um, infantry based and sort of fast and brutal and it's all about the killing I often find that that round actually does get played out quite tactically and quite objectively and that's interesting from that sort of game mode so I'll be yeah it'll be curious to see whether that kind of happens with Battlefield Hardline as well where some game modes become more objective than others I actually think this game mode itself has the ability to be one of the more objective game modes it has this great facet of, of sort of you know the push and pull dynamic where you're kind of stealing from the base and bringing back some people were saying oh it's just like capture the flag but it's really not because we capture the flag you can't grab those flags and bring them back again so with this you, you know it has a different dynamic to it and that's what's so enjoyable about this game mode for me is the stealing aspect I've seen rounds where they've had almost all the money and then you send your team over there with a couple of vehicles real fast maybe a bit of you know this armored support setup as well and you grab all the money you bring it back and then you defend your base they grab the last bit of money from maybe the bank and then bam you win the game so it actually has this brilliant ability to kind of you know turn the game back around and you know from the live stream that we did on this day the guys that were watching at the time and interacting will remember that we had like four or five you know excellent rounds and we were saying at the time damn that was a really good round and for me even like I said one of the key things always with Battlefield for me man that guy got wrecked uh, one of the key things with Battlefield always for me was that you could lose a game and still feel like damn that was a good game and actually I have had that this week you know I've had that this week where we actually had some good rounds that even though we lost and I was frustrated about that I was like oh for damn it we should have gone over here and we should have defended this better or whatever but it didn't matter because you're like you know they played well they played the objective they didn't dick around they just got on they got to grips with it we both had a good fight there was times where it kind of ebbed and flowed and overall it just came together and for a very enjoyable round it was an objective round and for me that's what I really really enjoy so you know from a, a bad beginning I have seen this week the sparks of potential it has the potential to actually play out really really well and that's good that's what I saw when we went to San Francisco and I was playing with the other youtubers playing when I go to these events or when anybody goes to these events and you play with the other cheap other youtubers there um, it, it's not a true situation in that it's not like a public game when you go to these events the other producers they're all kind of fairly like-minded you'll be having some fun but those guys they'll play pretty hard like I will always try to play pretty hard for the objective and that's usually how it will go down okay um, when you get into a public setting it's a bit more random than that so it doesn't kind of transition so well so what the experience that you will get in one place will be different from another and it's a shame I would like to see that kind of you know that sort of effort and fury and kind of like really getting into the game I would like to see that in every game that I play because it really makes you sort of push struggle fight you know it, you get a totally different feeling a total different ambience and a totally different energy when you're playing that kind of round than just when you're getting steamrolled or the other team and they're not really trying so yeah we'll see how we go with it but from the vehicle point of view as I say some of them can be perceived as being OP and even me saying with this truck the ARV that man this this truck's really strong I mean look at the rampage that I went on on this round with this truck I think I died like one time it's ridiculous but it's all about the teams and this is what I've said all along okay it's all about the players if the players get to grips you can take this truck down you can take this truck down in seconds you only need a couple of engineers with some concentrated fire bam it'll be on the ground but unless the team prioritize that it's just going to dominate it but in many sense you know just like anything if you if you ignore a player who's dominating be that in an air vehicle or on the ground you know they're going to wreck you unless you deal with them and that's what this game is about it's about prioritizing targets and neutralizing them and working together as a team.
So thanks for watching today guys, hope you have enjoyed. If you enjoyed, drop a little rating on the video and uh, leave your thoughts below about what you think about Battlefield Hardline, cars, vehicles, trucks, whatever. How do you think they're going to have an impact in the game? Do you like the handling of them on the beta? Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time guys for more Battlefield Hardline.